The 19th question says, if the lines y equal to 3x plus 1 and 2y equals to x plus 3 are equally inclined to the line y is equal to mx plus 4, find the value of m. Okay, what do you mean by equally inclined? Okay, this is the line y equals mx plus 4. And we have, we are looking at two particular lines which are equally inclined. Means this angle is theta, this angle is also theta. That's what the person is saying, right? Okay, so we have lines y equals 3x plus 1 and 2y equals x plus 3 which tells me yeah this line is y equals 1 by 2x plus 3 by 2 and these are equally inclined to this line implies if this obviously the slope is m this is this tells me that the slope m1 equals 3 and this tells me the slope m2 equals 1 by 2. So I can apply tan theta for this and tan theta for this, equate them to be the same, equal, e equate them and then get the value of m from here. Yes, that's what I can do. So tan theta will be equal to modulus of between this line and this line, okay, between this and this, we have m minus m2, which is m minus 1 by 2 upon 1 plus m into 1 by 2. That is m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1 m1 m2. And this can also be equal to m1 minus m2 upon 1 plus m1 m2, which is m minus 3 upon 1 plus m into 3. This is equal to this. So, the angle is theta in each of these cases, in both of these cases. So, I can directly write this expression, right? And uh, therefore, I have an equation in terms of m. And can I solve that equation to get the value of m? Yes, I can. Okay, let's rewrite this equation a bit. This is 2 minus m multiplied by 2 and divide by 2. This is 2 plus m. Modulus is equal to m minus 3 upon 1 plus 3m and its modulus. 2 of this, yes. Okay, in the numerator, I actually have 2m minus 1. Please correct that. This is not this. This is 2m minus 1 in the numerator, right? And this is 2 plus m in the denominator, right? And modulus of x modulus of y implies that either 2m minus 1 upon 2 plus m is equal to m minus 3 upon 1 plus 3m either this or or either the magnitudes since the magnitudes are the same either these will be exactly same or these will be negative of each other right so 2m minus 1 upon 2 plus m will be equal to minus of m minus 3 upon 1 plus 3m so these are the two equations which we want to solve after this right let's pick up the first one for solving this, we have to cross multiply and see where does that take us. So 3m plus 1, 2m minus 1, 3m into 2m is 6m square and minus 3m plus 2m is minus m and minus 1 is equal to m minus 3m plus 2 is m square minus 3m plus 2m is minus m and we have minus 6 over here. You observe that minus m gets cancelled and you, what you get is 5m square is equal to minus 5 which tells me m square is equal to minus 1 and this will not give me any real value of m. This will not give me any real value of m as you can clearly observe over here. Right. So what about the next one? Let's take a look at the next one. In the next one, what do we have? We'll get similar expressions but with a y minus, extra minus on the right hand side. So in the left hand side, you have 6m square. In the left hand side, you have, in this particular side, you have 6m square minus m minus 1 which is equal to, multiply this with minus, what you have is minus m square plus m plus 6, right? That's what you have. And this becomes 7m square and minus 2m minus 7 is equal to 0. That's what I'm getting. 7m square minus 2m minus 7 equal to 0. And from here, can I get the value of m? Yes, this is minus 14, but can it be factorized? Oh, it will be difficult, yes. This is 49 actually, minus 49. The product is minus 49 and uh, cannot be factorized. So let's use the quadratic formula on this. m equals minus b plus minus under root of b square minus 4 into a into c. Now 4 into a into c, 4 into 7 into 7 with a minus becomes plus. And uh, 7 into 7 is 49 into 4 is 196. Okay, upon 2 into 7 which is 14. Okay, this is 200. 200 can be written as 200 is actually equal to, hmm, you can multiply with, uh, this is actually 16 into 16, no, it is not 16. It is actually 4 into 50 or uh, 100 into 2, you can say. 
100 into 2 can be done as 10 root 2 in the numerator. This will become 10 root 2. There is already a 2 over here. So we can cancel that factor of 2 from the numerator and denominator. This becomes 1 plus minus 5 root 2 upon 7. And yes, this gives me the value of m for this particular question. If the lines this and this are equally inclined to the line this, find the value of m. That's what you get over here. That's the final answer for this question as you can see clearly behind me.